The immortal John Hancock here, and I just got done playing a new homebrew game called Super Trash Truck, and uh, it's it's great. And I just wanted to have a general discussion about uh, this game, but why I like collecting for the Atari, and um, gosh, it's just a, this is just a great game and an example of some of the simplistic gameplay and fast and fun that the 2600 can provide. And so. Uh, I haven't done a collect and play video for a while. I've been really busy, but I had some time to play this. So let me show you this new homebrew game, uh, Super Trash Truck. Let's check it out. So here is a um, up close the uh, the gorgeous box. Mine's 14 out of 30. Backside. And the other cool thing about this, it came with a foam uh, insert. The collector Vision did it. Great job on the packaging. Let's see if I can get this here. Even came with a uh, like a foam insert, which I thought that was pretty cool. The manual is color. It's like a kind of kind of talks about like a newspaper and full color story. Story is pretty prem premise pretty uh, um, simple. Like a permit. It's pretty neat. <laughs> Control scheme. Yeah, and there's uh, Venus Flyers, Sword to the Wind. Uh, Venus is a um, fiance of uh, Jason Santusi. Nice little plug in there. He had, uh, he's a programmer and uh, he's getting married. So happy for both of them. There's a cartridge. Very cool. So there you have it. That's the packaging of the game. So here is Super Trash Truck. This is a homebrew 2600 game, as I mentioned before. I'm playing this on actual hardware, and this was programmed by my good friend Jason Santusi, and this was a, a Sadi Games uh, creation. This was his idea, and Jason produced it for him. And this was uh, published by Collector Vision. There was 30 copies made. Hopefully the ROM will be available uh, down the road or other, uh, other ways of getting the final ROM. But um, right now, uh, there is a, a, a discussion Super Trash Truck on Atari Age. And you can download a, a demo of this and for free. And so, uh, however you play this game, this is a great game. And the reason why I wanted to do a video on this is that games don't have to be complicated to be fun. I, I'm i working two jobs right now. I, I have to admit, I'm pretty tired. And yesterday, I came home and I, I popped this game in. And for about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, I was completely relaxed. I, I was feeling so great. I got to relax and, and enjoy a great 2600 game, a new 2600 game. And I just think it's amazing that 39 years after this system came out, there's new video games being made for it and produced on cartridge. And and so, yeah, I, I just want to uh, say that I just love that. And, you know, we have an upcoming Portland Retro Gaming Expo show. There's going to be a ton of new product and old product. And so this is just kind of a shout out on why I love this system is, is that it provides simple, fast, arcade game fun. And I, I think it does it better than any other system. And it's been around a long time. There's some, some you know, the, the graphics, yes, the graphics can be challenging sometimes, but I like that. I like that. I can use my imagination with the system and, 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 and uh, I, I'm just a huge fan of the system. So anyways, let's show the game. Enough of my uh, sharing love about the 2600. Everybody knows that. All right. So go ahead and reset it. All right. It's a great start men menu. And here we go. So it's on difficult, so I'm going to die very fast. That's, so you have to avoid cars. You have to avoid trash cans. Pick up trash. And to get a, a, an extra life, which is represented by trash cans, I think, uh, you have to pick up a gas can. Oh, man, I am doing terrible. All right, finally got a point. <laughs> All 
All right, let's see here. It's, it's tough. Um, as, as the game progresses, it will get more difficult. Oh my gosh, 100 points first game. Embarrassing. Let's try that again. <laughs> All right. You have to avoid these. Uh, oh, I could have got that thing. It's it's quick, and there's two there's two settings. This is uh, uh, PAL and NTSC. There's a, a, a setting for both on on your system, so that's kind of cool. Um, you have to collect the trash bags. Oh. oh. Trash bags for 100 points and gas cans for extra lives. And then everything else you avoid. Oh, I mean, terrible. Oh. It's fast. And so you have to make sure your, your Atari 2600 joystick or whatever you're using for a controller. Ooh, yeah, I got some extra guys. All right, now, we, now we're in the groove. Coffee's kicking in. Anyways, it's just a fun game. I, I absolutely love simplistic games like this. Um, I, 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 I can tell it's a good game too because I keep coming back and wanting to play it more. And um, the other cool thing about this is that I, you know, I showed my son this game yesterday. And this is a game, this is a great game to show kids in Atari. You know, a truck is something that uh, a, a child can understand. This is a, this is a basic premise. Of the game is that you're you're, you're collecting garbage. Um, in the other section, I definitely wanted to show the uh, the gorgeous box and manual that went with this game. Um, label the carts pretty basic, but you know, I I love I love the imperfections of homebrew games. You know, I I publish uh, a few homebrew games on my on the side as well, and it's it's just kind of neat kind of neat to see what people. Uh, create and come up with the packaging of their of their homebrew games, and knowing it's very unique. You know, this is a, a you know a cartridge that'll definitely be uh, less than you know there was 30 of these made. Hopefully, they do a second run. It's it's worthy of a second run. Um, and uh, yeah, so D games. I'll send. A, hopefully, I'm saying that right. But I'll I'll do a Facebook. Uh, uh, see if I can I can send a link to the his Facebook uh, site for his 2600 games, which he is working on other 2600 games in the future. So I'm really excited about that. I'm doing so much better now. Um, gotten to play it a little bit. <sighs> Definitely wanted to show this game can be challenging though. So if you eat, okay, so it, it's cycled tonight or evening. <laughs> Which is cool, and then uh, it'll it'll get harder after this part. So then the road narrows, and uh, it's neat. It's random enemies, so it, it, there's not a pattern. It, I mean, the enemies have patterns, but you can definitely um, see it getting more challenging. One guy, I um, did better there. All right, cool, got it. Oh, nice, got lucky there. So yep, I'm playing this on actual 2600 hardware. Um, a simple composite mod from Lost Classics on my 2600 Vader, and um, yeah, so uh, the score's not terrible. Let's see how far I can get. As you can tell, the road's narrowed, like I said before, and it's making it harder. Makes it harder to avoid the large enemies and the trash cans, and there's cars, parked cars. And, oh, yeah, those big, big enemies there are really tough to avoid. I don't know what they are. I probably should look that up. Missing the points. You gotta grab the, these little trash bags to get points. It's the only way to get points. So you don't. And there you have it. All right, that's still terrible score, but I'll go with it. So check this out. Um, 
if you haven't ever checked out a 2600, check out a 2600. And I am going to be doing future um, discussions about, uh, I know that uh, some some fans and viewers have, have asked, what are the 2600 games to get? And I'm going to be talking about those in a, in a, in a future video. And um, a great system. Yes, it's old. For, for people that didn't grow up with a Atari 2600, the graphics might be a little bit challenging to, to stomach. But for people that either grew up with a 2600, um, it's, it's a great system to collect for. A lot of the classic games are cheap. Um, there are homebrew games. Now, homebrew games cost more, but uh, they are highly collectible. Um, for people that are on a budget, that the 2600 is a way to go. Lots of options there. I've done several videos on, on 2600, and you can check those out in a link below. I'll, I'll go to my Atari playlist uh, that talks about um, Atari game systems in general. So there you have it. Uh, what do you think? Comment below. Uh, Thank you for all the, all the viewers and fans of watching my videos. I haven't done a homebrew uh, overview in a little bit. Uh, it's just, I've been so busy. And so getting ready for PRGE. I have uh, a big game announcement next week. So check this out. Check, uh, I got a new video coming out Thursday. So you don't want to miss it. Uh, this is the immortal John Hancock signing out.